Hi everyone, this is Julianne Victoria. It's another cold and very windy evening dog walk. I have Kuru here with me again. Kuru, do you want to say hi? Says, hey, what's up? Okay, so this uh, dog walk talk is going to, um, it's stemming off a question someone asked me from last, was it last week? Last week's dog walk talk or the last one? Um, because as you probably know by now, all my dogs, th I have three dogs, their names either Mean Bear or one of them we added Bear to his name. Um, and I mentioned how Bear is a family totem. And someone asked me, I believe it was Lucy, because she always asks a lot of questions and really great questions and I love it. Um, she said, how do you know what your family totem is or how do you know that Bear is your family totem or something along those lines? So, it's kind of the same to know if you have an animal that is a, a spirit guide, a personal animal spirit guide, um, is that they will present themselves to you, they will show up to you. Now often, they'll come up, come in your dreams. And that is part of how I know Bear is a family totem. Um, I did have a series of dreams where bears came to me. Actually, they were looking for me. Um, sort of scared me at the time, sort of, kind of, um, but I was more curious trying to understand why and I did research on bears. Those dreams occurred in 1998, 1999, around that time frame, maybe 2000. Um, so it was a series, I have dream series, they're not really recurring dreams, but they're dreams along the same lines, continuing the same themes or same stories, where the bears were looking for me. And at that time, um, I was going through a shift, and I shifted from a path of, I was in graduate school at the time studying historical linguistics, um, and I shifted into a path of healing. And part of it was because of those bear dreams, when I, I, you know, I read the bear symbolism and what struck me, what resonated most strongly is that bears are guides for healers. And I was like, oh, they're trying to steer me onto a healing path. And, and that kind of helped. I realized, oh, it's not something, they're not coming after me to hunt me down, which I didn't really feel in the dreams. Um, but I just was trying to understand why are they looking for me? Why are they looking for me? And I realized that was why. So that's part of it. Um, and from that, I thought they were just spirit guides, animal spirit guides. Um, but I realized, I mean, just over the course of my lifetime, how bear has been an ongoing family theme. So like when I was a little girl, I was in Girl Scouts and the parents and everyone kind of would took like, took like a nature name when you're in the Scouts, Girl Scouts and I think Boy Scouts too. And so my dad, my mom was the troop leader. So my parents were both involved and my dad took the name Bear. And then I've for a long time said that on actually my dad's side of the family, um, so my dad's dad was from Denmark, so there's Scandinavian there. I used to always say, <laughs> I still do, that there is a berserker gene that runs in the family and berserker means bear shirt or one who wears bears, um, which, I, Typically, they're thought of as like Viking warriors, but they're really like shamans. So bear, that sort of bear energy runs in the family. Um, and then my husband, at one time, he was looking at some sort of personality test because we're both interested in MBTI and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I think it was his Enneagram type, which was associated with bear. And then our dog, my two Alaskan Malamutes are named and then his dog that he had rescued, um, we added Bear to his name and he actually really loves being a bear. Okay, so I had to stop, poop patrol. Um, so yeah, you know when an animal is a family totem or even a personal spirit guide because they will show up in your life in some way. In my case, because family members and family history, my, my view that our family, we have the berserker gene, um, you know, and then with my husband and the dog and, you know, we call the baby, baby bear. Like it 
will just show up. It will repeat. It will connect to family members. Family members may resonate with it. Not all of them, of course. Um, but you'll know. Um, and then the same, you know, a spirit guide comes. Often they will show up in dreams or there's just an animal or two or three that really resonate with you. And your animal spirit guides can change. It could be, you know, let's say dolphins come to you or you just love dolphins. They resonate and you buy dolphin statues or people bring up dolphins. You hear people talking about dolphins. Um, and then one point in your life that stops and a different animal appears. So it can change um, when it comes to personal animal spirit guides. But some people will have one or two that are with them their whole lives. So I hope that makes sense <laughs> on, you know, how did, to the question was, how did I know that bear was my family animal totem? Um, yeah, that's how. Uh, there's other things I can't think of right now, but it repeats, it resonates, family members connect to it, and they present themselves to you, they come to you. But especially through dreams, that's a, when they come to you when you're not in the, fully in the physical realm, fully, when you're in that, in that other realm, like during the dream time, or through meditation, or visualization practices, and so on. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that is that discussion. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Well, if you're curious as what I feel my personal, like animal spirit guides that resonate with me, besides the bear, of course, the family totem, because I do feel like there's a personal element there too. Come on, Koo. Um, the lion, part because I am a Leo sun in Western astrology, so the lion, um, but also my former dog Simba, who I talked about last time as a soulmate. Um, just some kids there. Um, and the wolf, which again connects to my dogs because I have two Alaskan Malamutes. Simba was a Malamute as well. They're very closely related to of course all dogs are but they look a lot like wolves and they have jaws like wolves and things like that so wolf and lion are very strong for me as well um, and oddly I would I wouldn't say even though I have like through the peacock's eyes and peacock things I wouldn't I don't consider peacock a personal spirit guide or you know personal animal spirit that I connect to. It's more the symbolism of it. Um, yeah, so that's more, it's actually, I the peacock, it's more for everyone else through the eyes, through the eyes of the peacock. So I don't consider that a personal animal spirit guide or totem, um, which a lot of people might automatically think. Um, and it's the same with butterflies. I love butterflies, but it's more the symbolism. I don't consider them my own spirit guides. And most people resonate with butterflies, of course, transformation. They're just so beautiful. Um, another animal, sort of, that I consider a spirit guide is the hummingbird. And, but it's like, it's my grandmother's spirit that comes. She will show up and like a hummingbird will hover right in front of my window staring at me that's when I know it's my grandmother or things like that where it'd be very obvious that the hummingbird is trying to get my attention or looking right at me and pausing and just staring at me or if I'm thinking of something one might come and just like you can't see my hand flutter right in front of me um, so my grandmother as I guess as an ancestor spirit guide come on, Kay, will present as a hummingbird so you can consider that another spirit guide. So if you're wondering, you know, what your animal spirit guides are or a family totem, look for those things. Look for, you could say the synchronicities, they keep appearing, people talk about them, you run across them, they come in your dreams especially, or they appear to you when you're in a meditative state or doing a visualization practice. If you do journeying, um, or even path working, and those two things aren't exactly the same, but when you're in that state, they can present themselves to you. Okay, so I think that 
that covers that question. Um, yeah, if you have other questions about that, let me know. I will link below. Um, there was a blog post that I wrote and that another astrologer wrote about my astrology and the bear dreams. I'll see if I can find those. It's been quite a few years and link them below in the description box. Um, and and I, I believe I wrote a blog post on animal spirits, the bear. Um, I don't post very often on my blog now uh, just because of time, but I do have a whole animal spirits category of, I think it's dozens of animal spirit posts for different animals. So I'll try to uh, find those and link those below for you. Um, otherwise, you know, you can leave me questions of things you'd like me to talk about um, in a vlog or discussion. Can't guarantee they will be dog talk walks, but that's kind of working right now because I'm so busy and I can multitask. Um, so let me know or any other questions on this topic and it is freezing out here and my hands are frozen so I'm going to end this video and warm my hands up and finish the dog walk thank you for coming along I will see you guys back here soon